Hi, we're back. I'm Josh. I'm Andrea. And uh, I uh, wanted you to notice my shirt. Um, I don't know if you've noticed. I, I have a bit more color than I normally wear because I heard that you like plaid, like you're married to some rocker, hipster type of guy. Yeah. I like plaid, but I like to steal his plaid shirts. Really? Well, you can steal this off me anytime. And what might get you in the mood? I, I noticed in the uh, the other video where you explained how to make chocolate face mask stuff. You mentioned casually dipping strawberries and chocolates and stuff. So I uh, I got us a, a, a few berries. I don't really like strawberries. I find them too tart. It kind of makes me Ew. so I got raspberries. They're a bit softer. Um, but I figure we can dip this in and, and sort of see how things go. With I have a better idea. Yeah. Oh. You... I have a way better idea. Oh. Ho, ho. So should I take this off or? Yeah. Oh. Although it does match our ingredients. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see if it grows on you. What are um, we, What are we gonna do? Is it, it looks be like, like it's th growing on you, actually. Uh, anyway. <laughs> pockets are very low. <laughs> it's quite I've been, big. I've been working out. I've grown out of my shirt. It's not my shirt. Okay. It's the producer in this shirt. So we, in our last video, made a chocolate face mask, um, which is great for softening your skin and hydrating in the winter. It has five simple ingredients: cocoa, honey, yogurt oatmeal and citrus. Super easy to make, whip it up. Check out the video so you can see how to do it. It was awesome. And you can eat it. Well, I, Josh I did, can I eat did, it. I, I was eating it. Yes, and how was that? It was probably the healthiest thing I've eaten this week. <clears throat> oh God. So, um, we are going to apply this to Josh's face and uh, I see maybe where you're head. Um, and then, actually, now that Josh has brought us some fresh berries, yes. we can make a second face mask. Oh. So that's what I wanted it for. Raspberries, any kind of berries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries. You can actually poison berries. Maybe I like saying gooseberries. Poison berries. Gooseberries. Gooseberries. Elderberries. That's a old berries. Um, it's a berry long list. <laughs> it is, but they are very good for your skin. Oh, you're very funny. <laughs> let's just keep going. <laughs> we could go um, all day. But we let's probably not. could. So it's super <laughs> easy. Any kind of fruit, any kind of berry. Just yeah. rinse them. Get organic, like duh. Um, and then I always <laughs> always always get organic and uh, then just simply mash them up with what with a is this a mortar or a pestle I don't know is it a pesto is it a pustule what are the what Ew, are... don't say pestle. okay I know that's not ever pestle pestle so this is not the mortar no oh there's a mortar and a pestle hand. so this is the mortar and this is the pestle and these are the berries and now we mash oh wow it's kind of oh. like Ever, I've always wanted to go do that um, grape squishing thing for wine. Yeah. It's kind of With that bare feet. relief. You could do it if you're mad at something. You probably have nice feet. Uh, I do. Yeah, that, okay. That's good. That's probably the right answer. I was a foot model once. You were not a foot model. One time. Really? Yeah. We can talk about that in another video. Maybe. But if we mention that in the comments, it'll get like <laughs> lots of hits now for this one. Like, what was that? It'll get gross. It's the whole thing, the feet thing, eh? Anyways, so how's um, that looking? Oh, that looks, that looks like... Uh, I'm trying to remember some kind of food or dessert that looks like that. Like jam? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Very good, Josh. Cool. Okay, so, uh, super easy now that that's all mashed up. Yeah. Um, this just goes straight in your face, on a clean face. Make sure your face is clean. I think I did, I had, I showered before I left, like but yesterday? then I put, uh, <laughs> new, um, but I, uh, I put on, I shaved, because, you know, it was going to be moisturizer day, but then I put on a bit of uh, shaving bond. Will that affect the... Uh... You should start with clean, fresh skin. So something okay. that doesn't have any kind of lotion or anything that would block hmm. the amazing benefits you're going to get from it. probably this. won't affect the video at this point. I think we're good. Yeah, okay. We're showing an example. It's just because an ex-girlfriend bought me some Eco Balm last year before she, I, mean, I never so saw her again. Why so ex-girlfriends? Yeah, because, you know... So, I think it's fairly obvious. we're going to use a brush. This is actually a foundation brush uh, that I brought from home. Ooh. That is clean, again. Oh, I wonder everything. if you're looking to wash that stuff out after. Is that the last time you'll ever use this brush? Oh, I'll just lick it, oh. maybe. Oh, God. Um, and then I'm just going to apply it to you. Oh, so you're, you're oh should I, I, maybe do I, should I have a bib? <laughs> yes. Oh, there we go. Like when you eat at a fancy restaurant? Like Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> what is oh. Chuck E. Cheese? What is it? Are you from Toronto? Yes. They have video games and pizza. Oh, I've heard of that place. No. I don't like video games. No, me neither. So, what I should actually do, I'm going to put half on one side of your face and half on the other side of your face. Oh, very clever. We can compare. Yeah, we can. <clears throat> I'll be like a chocolate fruit dessert. This is going to look oh, that's chilly. amazing. Yeah. Um, and then, oh. because this has been kind of in the cold for a little bit, it's a little bit stiffer. 
If it's too warm, it'll be all melty and messy. So if you're doing this at home, wear something that you can get dirty or wear like your house coat or your bathrobe or a towel. Just mm, a towel. Just a towel. Or your boyfriend's plaid shirt. Mm, I would love to wear my boyfriend's plaid shirt. <laughs> Aren't you doing that right now? I guess I am, really. <laughs> Yeah. Alrighty. Beggars cannot so, be choosers. Actually, I'm going to speed this up. Yeah, this looks... You're starting to look like Two-Face from that... Uh, Batman. I haven't even Batman. seen that one yet. Oh, it's good. No. Are you yeah. doing... Oh, that's still the same side. I don't have very good... Uh, I don't know when, where to stop back There's, here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't have the <laughs> traditional hairline. I can actually, like, give you yeah. a comb over. That's all right. Well, this is what I would look like with hair and... and, and if, Hey, check it out. Uh, <laughs> you have to put your head down so you can see the go over. That's pretty good. I got the Donald Trump. <laughs> no, that would come down to like here. Oh, yeah. That would be <laughs> okay. High brow level. <laughs> so then we're going to take good. our mashed up raspberries, which are really great for skin because um, Why? they have a lot of vitamin C. Mm -hmm. And uh, so antioxidants going on. Vitamin C is really great for your skin, for collagen. Um, if you're buying vitamin C, in like a cheap face cream or something, you're not getting because I always, really see, you know, when amount. I go to the drugstore, I see you know vitamin C cream and you know, and I always think uh, it's probably not that good. It's, but this is like the pure stuff. Yeah, it's pure and it's great and it's it's like right from the source. If you're buying a good natural face cream, um, the expensive stuff, a higher end, then you are going to get a yeah. really great vitamin C that's like from the seed or like a really good one that's not. Um, you know, it's really stable and going to last. Mm -hmm. But if you're buying the cheap stuff and it's toward the bottom of the list, don't even bother. Just no. do this. So, this makes then much we're more just going to apply this on this side. Oh, boy. So, this isn't going to stick onto your face like the chocolate one because it's, um, oh. it's like mushy. And just what you're doing is just rubbing it all over. You could just even, like, if you're making breakfast or something, like I always have berries for breakfast, mm. just grab one, mash it up between your fingers, and then just put it on your face until you're done your breakfast, go to the shower, wash it off. You're good to go. Wow. And you're going to notice after this, like, uh, keep you want to keep the raspberry one on for about 10 minutes. Yes, I do. Um, and it's going to feel, start a little, to get a little tight. Ooh, I like that. Which is a, a good, it's a good thing, not a bad thing. No, I used to buy, like, you know, sort of cheap, uh, face masks from the store, like the cucumber one that would like harden on your face. And I just love face masks that you actually feel something, right? Like Yeah, tingle. there's so many great ones. I mean, the chocolate one is going to start to get a little like that too. Yeah. And the chocolate one stays on longer, so 20 minutes for that uh, one. What happens if, like say you just want to, you know, you decide to watch a movie and it's like Lord of the Rings or something. So you sit there for three hours with your face mask. It's not going to do damage, right? Well, hopefully you have a pause button and you can get up and wash it off. No, but if you left it on too long, it wouldn't kill Oh, you. nothing bad yeah. will happen. Exactly. Um, with something like the fruit one, you just want to be careful with any sort of sensitivities. If you have really sensitive skin, you don't want to be leaving things on too much. Oh, yeah, because it's um, acids, right? Right, and there is also citrus in the chocolate one. Mm, um, that's right, the orange we put in. It was a clementine. Yeah. It was Clementine. I love those. Um, but yeah, they're great. Face masks are so easy. They're so fun. You probably have a million ingredients at home, but we've just given you two great face masks that you can do in winter for softer skin uh, to exfoliate quite a, a lot of gross dead skin cells off. Ugh. Um, and to eat. Yeah. It's so your job. I, I, I guess you could literally eat this off your own face. Or that might you, be gross. All right, but if you had a girlfriend, she could lick it off? If that's what you're into. I'm into that. If you have a dog... Yeah, I guess that's like more, more realistic. Yeah, okay. I'll borrow your dog. I have a cat. Okay. He does like chocolate. All right, well, maybe Friday night I'm free. Not maybe, I am free. I'll let Jack know. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, and, uh, and, and uh, that's basically it. Okay, bye. <laughs>